things I pride myself on when working with my clients is delivering them results and using discretion. Whether they're purchasing a $200,000 home, a $1.3 million home, or a $5 million home. Stephanie Thomas. I'm born and raised in Miami, Florida. Currently I own seven residential properties and counting and a few commercial properties. Ooh, I like, I like, I like. Welcome, hi Stephanie. Hey girl. I'm glad you like it, I knew you would. Girl, you know me, you know me too well. <laughs> too well, yes to the window. What you say? Can you do any wrong? No girl, never. <laughs> okay, yeah. you ready to go inside? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Because I think you're gonna love it. Welcome. Oh my God. So I wanted to show you this property for the location one. I know you live right across the street, <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to move far. Girl. And I know how you like everything luxurious. So you have your floor to ceiling windows. You have your um, wide white oak flooring throughout the entire home. You have porcelain tile. You have very high-end Samsung appliances. So yeah, so this is the first level. What do you think so far? I am speechless. And you know, that's hard to do, like, oh my. I absolutely, absolutely, positively love these windows. Girl. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so it's three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. So I know that's plenty of space for you. And I have a surprise, but I'm gonna wait till the end. Okay. I already, I'm already scared to ask <laughs> how much. Okay, so they want 1.3. Oh my God. I know that's a little bit over your budget, <sighs> but I think we can do some negotiating because it's been on the market for over 20 days. 1.3, I don't care how much money you make, you'll never get used to spending that type of money. So don't worry about the price. Um, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna try to negotiate you a good price, but that's what they're currently asking for now, 1.3. Girl, it's, I, I see why. These windows are sick. Mm -hmm. They are sick. The details are sick. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. So here's your primary bedroom, AKA the queen's den. And you still have that floor to ceiling windows, natural lighting. Girl, oh, girl, <laughs> girl, yes. Look at the tub. Yes. So here you have your porcelain towel throughout, your rainfall shower head, <laughs> and your soaking tub. Girl, cause you Ooh. know when I be having the meetings and everything like that, I must like, if this is. I'm gonna cry. I knew you was gonna like it. Girl, I like it, I love it. What you gonna do in this shower? Girl, two people? Listen, <laughs> listen that's that rated R, okay? This rated is a grown conversation. <laughs> um, I am, I'm dating. I am actually dating. So I know the closet may be a little tiny, but you have three bedrooms, so you have plenty of space to store all your bags and shoes, because I know this is not enough closet for you, but yeah, you have I mean, two other closets. Okay, what's, what's this door? You ready? Yeah, what is You don't know what this is? Okay, I'm about to show you what this is. I love the bathrooms, I love the bedrooms, and the icing on the cake is the rooftop deck. The reason I wanted to buy a property in D.C. is because D.C. has become a second home to me. I started my businesses here, my nonprofit is here. I definitely needed my own parking spot. I needed stainless steel appliances, countertops to be phenomenal. Three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, natural lighting, open floor plan. I got a call from T yesterday, she told me she had uh, the perfect property for me. So I told her I could fly in today. Got a, the last minute flight, flew in this morning, and I actually have to fly out tonight. So it's just the day in life of an entrepreneur. Okay, let me text my client, let her know I'm here. I have the um, interior decorator coming in at five. Oh, hey girl. Hey, hey girl. Hello. So cute, how are you? Thank you, how are you doing? I'm well, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you excited? I am. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> about working with Tiani is this. Tiani is always up for the challenge. I am extremely hard to please because this has not been my first rodeo. So 
So there were certain factors that I wanted um, in the property that I purchased, and I knew that she would be the one perfect to provide the results, and she was definitely up for the challenge. Well, working with Stephanie was super challenging because she's a woman who knows exactly what she wants. She is hard to please, so I'm super excited that she fell in love with this property. And I understand how busy she is, so I did not want to waste her time. Well, I know it's been a journey, girl. girl. We both are stressing. See, I, I promise you, like, this was the most, this was the most trying one, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. You know what I mean? It's like... Out of all your properties, this was the... Yeah, because it's like, you know, it wasn't budging or nothing like that. It was like, I can't... And, you know, this is, this is a lot. Yeah, I know. But you made it, girl. I made it thanks to you. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> don't get it on me. I'm happy. I'm happy I signed. I'm what happy. What do you think was the hardest part though of this experience? You know, the negotiating part. I know. That and is. the waiting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like, and then literally I live across the street, so I'm just looking and thinking right. about moving in. You know. Where the wait is over. The wait, the wait is, is over. over. But I'm proud of you. Thank uh, you. Love you, girl. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, bye. Bye.